Hello everybody, Bill Manning here from Northwest Local Land Services in Gunnedah. Uh, this is just a short video to remind people of some of the basics of uh, tropical grass nutrition. We've had quite a good winter, uh, subsoil moisture present under many, many pastures at the moment should give our tropical grasses a good kickoff. Temperatures rising, um, things are starting to happen. Tropical grasses obviously a great feed source, capable of very high growth rates, uh, can produce very high biomass and a lot of feed for stock. That's great for producers, but it is a pasture that creates a lot of demand on the system for water and nutrients. Uh, the main nutrient for tropical grass is nitrogen. Obviously they need the other major nutrients, phosphorus, sulphur, potassium, etc but nitrogen is definitely the nutrient that drives tropical grasses. Um, many pastures will have some annual legumes incorporated into them and they'll fix some nitrogen that will become available to tropical grasses during the summer. But generally those um, legumes are not able to fix enough nitrogen to really optimise the growth of tropical grasses. We then get to a point where we're thinking about adding some nitrogen. Um, certainly adding nitrogen to tropical grasses can be very beneficial, can produce very large increases in biomass production, and they can also increase the quality of the pasture uh, through increases in protein and digestibility. So before you jump right in, a few things to think about. Uh, one thing, have you got enough stock? Many producers are still down on their levels of stock at the moment. Um, probably not a lot of point producing more feed if you can't utilise it. We also need to be aware of the high price of nitrogen this season. Um, so definitely worth looking at prices before you go ahead. Against that though, we are still in a situation at the moment of record cattle prices, so quite likely there are economic returns there from added nitrogen. Um, at the local land services, we can point you in the direction of trial results from uh, showing the increases in production you can expect from nitrogen applications that may help you do a budget to work out whether you should go ahead or not. When it comes to choosing products, you'll be looking at either urea or sulphate of ammonia. Um, I'd suggest you look at them and what's the cheapest source of nitrogen. Although if your country's low in sulphur, you may lean towards sulphate of ammonia as this can, sulphate of ammonia can help rectify um, sulphate deficiency as well. When it comes to rate, Generally, that 50 to 60 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare is the most common rate and has been found to be a good uh, balance between cost and response. The application process, you are looking to put your nitrogen on ahead of a significant rainfall event, hopefully 15 or 20 mils or more that will move the nitrogen fertiliser product into the soil where it can attach to clay particles and be safe. We can't rule out the possibility of volatilisation and loss of surface applied nitrogen, but over time the risks seem to be much less than the benefits that are gained from nitrogen application. A good time to do it is probably in the uh, first half of the growing season, for probably from sort of about now up until Christmas. That, um, that gives the pasture plenty of time to utilise the applied nitrogen and for you to get the most benefit out of it. Um, that's pretty much all for the day, just some basics on nitrogen nutrition in tropical grasses. Thanks.